Today we will be doing a quick tutorial on the Sologenic DEX. The DEX is a fast, secure, and intuitive decentralized exchange built by traders for traders. Let's take a look at how to use it. To access the DEX, head to www.sologenic.org. It will take you to the DEX page. Click Access DEX to go directly to the trading terminal. If it's your first time signing into the DEX from your browser, you'll be taken through a series of mini tutorials. We'll skim through these. Once we are at the trading terminal, we will need to connect a wallet. In the top right corner, you can click the large red button to connect the wallet where you can select your preferred wallet. Here, I will connect my Solo Wallet app from my mobile device. You may also quickly and easily create a Solo Wallet if you do not have one. On your mobile phone, you can open the Solo Wallet app, logging in with your PIN. Note that you must have at least 20 XRP to activate your wallet. If you are not logged in to your desired wallet, you can click on the name in the top left corner. To connect my wallet to the Sologenic DEX, I will open the Scan QR Code tool and scan the QR from the trading terminal. On your mobile device, you will be prompted to sign in using your wallet password. And there we go. Now, we have successfully logged into the Solo Wallet, as you can see in the top right corner of the dashboard. Clicking on the wallet icon on the left side of the dashboard will give you more information about what is in your wallet. To add new assets and create a new order, you need 5 XRP in the reserve, as well as 20 XRP to activate the wallet. After clicking on the Add Asset button, you can choose from Sologenic assets, known issuers, and custom assets. We'll be adding a known issuer today. Using the drop-down menu, select the issuer you choose. I'll use GateHub. Then, select the currency using the drop-down menu below. For example, Ethereum Classic. You can modify the limit, but we'll leave the default configurations. There are also additional options available if you click Show More, but we'll leave those as is. Clicking Next will take you to the summary page for you to review prior to submitting. Once you submit the transaction, you will need to sign into your wallet. In this case, we need to sign the transaction to my Solo wallet because that is what I initially used when logging into the DEX. There are two ways this can be done. One, when you are logged into your Solo wallet on your mobile device, you can sign the transaction using the Request tab at the bottom of your screen. Two, you can scan the QR code from your Solo wallet on your mobile device. And there we go. In the right corner of the trading terminal, you can track the progress of creating the trust line. Now we can see that the asset has been added, Ethereum Classic. We can check this in the Account Reserve tab and see the extra 5 XRP was reserved. Going back to the trading page, clicking on the search icon, you can scroll to search for the asset that was added. In this case, ETC. Looks like there is no such market, but no problem. Back to the top, we can add the custom pair, selecting GitHub and Ethereum Classic, and confirm. We've added the base on, and now we add the counter. We will create a custom market of ETC to Solo. Here we go. On the right-hand side of the dashboard, we have the balance. We can create a limit order. For this example, we'll make the amount 1 and the price 1.5 and hit Place Order and Confirm. Again, we'll need to sign the transaction just as we went over earlier using one of the two options, Request Section in the Solo Wallet app or by scanning the QR code in the Solo Wallet app. And again, you can see the progress in the bottom right corner of the dashboard, highlighted in green. Scrolling down slightly, you'll see your open orders and see the order that was just created. We can also see it in the order book. There is not much activity in ETC Solo right now, but we were able to create that custom pair and place order. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.